Games there our sixtieth anniversary. Uh, my name is Neil Varney. I'm not just I'm gonna do a demonstration in a moment, but I'm also the coordinator for this area and some of the main ring demonstrations. So we've got a great three days planned here for you. Um, with all variety of gun dogs, working dogs. I hope you enjoy it and what we do and what you see. Um, it's a spirit, as we said, the sixth anniversary, so a very special day for the game fair. But without further ado, let's get some dogs out for you, Jim. Now this is Jim. He's going to be a puppy for today. I have got some puppies, but I'm afraid to say they're not old enough to be out. Um, Jim's um, a homebred puppy. He's a little bit sensitive, so we're working very slowly with him, very carefully, but um, you'll notice throughout the demonstration that I actually rarely communicate with the dogs, it's all done on body language, because you can't tell a dog what to do, you have to show it. Um, so, Jim's there and he's seen this, a tennis ball. This is the best asset, far better than Wimbledon, all you need to train a gun dog, there's a tennis ball. Look. Nothing else. So, the dog's doing what we want. He's there, and because he's done what we want, he sits or he stays, we give him the reward. So, I haven't told him anything. I've just shown him what to do. Come on, Jim. Yes, I know. Sometimes you don't like this loud speaker, do you? Shall I turn it off? I'm not. No, it's a good boy. See? And again, we've not put any pressure on him, no delivery. He's got a nice delivery, we haven't put any pressure on him. But you can see, that's all he wants. And I can walk away. Not told him anything. We've got steadiness, without even talking to the dog. So he's there, and he's waiting, because if he does, he gets his reward. Um, people think that you give dogs rewards or let them chase a tennis ball. It unsteadies them. It doesn't, if you do it properly. You reward him at the right time. Good boy, Jim. Yeah, that's better. Now you're more comfortable, aren't you? He is quite soft, this dog. Um, but he's a star. I've not even trained the dog to walk the heel. I haven't even said heel yet, have I? Look. So, this is, to be fair, this is not what we, we start puppies off with tennis balls. You can see, we've got that. Look. He can't reach far enough back, so all we've got is that focus on us, that rapport between us and dog, which is what you want. He's going to be easy to tra train, excuse me. Um, right, so we've got a young dog, pretend he's a puppy, not really are you Jim? No. And again, Good boy. So we've been nice and calm. We've not spoken to him. We've not told him off. We haven't shouted at him and said, hold it, or anything. We've just been really calm, really quiet. And we've got the required result, haven't we? Yes. Oh, come on then. Time to go back. You're out again. Another two times. Yes, please, Justin, if you'd like to place my balls in the arena, that'd be perfect. So that's Jim, ladies and gentlemen. That's how we start the dogs off. We're now going to bring out another dog in a moment. Um, and actually, those of you that have seen me before at the game fairs, normally I run black and white spaniels, but I've actually got some liver and white ones now, the way the stud dogs perform. So, we've got the dog focused on tennis balls. Now we're going to bring a young spaniel out that's got to hunt for them. The idea of a spaniel, we train them to hunt, um, and again, I hate to keep on to the dog. I know I've got a whistle, but rarely you'll see it in my mouth because I want the dog to be part of a team. I only use the whistle as a corrective measure, not as a command. So, we're going to bring young Gus out. Gus. Gus is just about a year old, and you can see he's out, and he's hunting already. You see with Jim, he's um, sit sitting there, but now, You'll see Gus, he's got his nose down all the time. You need a Spaniel to have his nose down to fight good boy. Gus, good lad. 
Yeah, I know you know there's another one out there. The wind's coming this way, good boy. So, again, no commands. If I need to, I can pip on the whistle and they'll come back only as a corrective measure. There's another tennis ball there. Let him set the wind. There he is. Look, he's right on it, but he's, he's not seeing it. He's using his nose to hunt. Just good boy. Um, and again, off he goes. No commands. Don't need to. He's doing what I want him to do. There's no point in correcting him. Gus, come on. Good boy. Unless you have to. Always keep the dog focused. He's on there, he's got his nose down. Good lad. And then he comes. So, I've not given that dog any commands whatsoever under my feet. An extension of me. Now then, we've got to put a little bit of steadiness in. And again, it's all reward based. We have the dog and we introduce a stop whistle. He stops straight away, we give him the reward. So he knows the sooner he sits, good boy, the sooner he gets that reward. People say that it unsteady them. We won't. As the demonstration goes on with the older dogs, you'll see that it works really well. And you can see again, off he goes. No command. He's just an extension. And we can... That whistle, instant stop, reward. It's a game. And if it's a game, the dogs enjoy that game. Gus, they enjoy that game, so they enjoy their training. Don't they? Gus, there's no more out there, no. You'll get the hang of it by the end of the three days, won't you? Yes. And off he goes again. He's never going too far. Again, we can tip him on the whistle if you have to. But only as a corrective measure. Good boy. Go on then, you. Now then. <sighs> Do Dolly now. Well, you, you, you want me balls? Go on then. Grab them. No, the other, the other side. <laughs> I'll have to invest in yeah, I will. Splash that on some more balls. That's fine. Yeah, it is. How are we doing, Justin? I'll introduce you to Justin while we're waiting. Justin is um, my loyal helper. He comes all over the country with me um, and helps out. He gets paid in beer, which he never argues about. And he's been up since 7 o'clock this morning to get his hair dry. <laughs> right, so, are my balls out, Justin? Great, right, this is Dolly. Dolly. Now, Dolly is a little bit older. Again, she knows what she's doing, don't you, Dolly? Now, those of you, those Dolly, those of you that are close enough will see that little Dolly has only got one eye now. She had a bit of an accident, an infection, and lots of vegetables, etc. But it doesn't stop her. All she needs is, is a, she needs a nose, not her eyes. Good girl. And again, no commands, Dolly, unless we want to put pressure on her. So we're going to show her. We'll just, we'll just take her by the neck, pull her in. No pressure, no harshness, but just get that delivery. We're showing her what we want. Again, Good girl, grass and all. I know. You drop the grass now, don't you? Dolly, Dolly. Now you'll see that all these dogs you'll see today, they're all homebred. They're all bred by myself. Um, and that's what I work with. So, again, we've got the stop whistle. Instant, and she's poised ready to go, because she knows, not yet. So she's there, not nice and steady, waiting for me to give her that reward. So we're building up. 
tragedy, basically, after weeks of building up, that stop whistle, and honestly, the steadiness comes with it, it really does. So, that's Dolly. Now, we're just going to have a bit of a word while I put Dolly away. Um, those of you that know me, or don't know me, if you look on the side of the van, um, on the 4th of June this year, three of my dogs were callously stolen. Two trained Labradors and a fully trained English Spring and Spaniel. They were stolen from my trailer. Thank you. So, I haven't got the full team here. There's been no word, no sighting or anything of those dogs. So we haven't got a fully trained dog really at the moment. So, um, a good friend of mine, Tina Smith, pay attention. Wait there a minute. Um, yeah, you carry on, we don't want to see him, has brought Echo along. Now Echo is a twist mountain gun dog, he's one that I bred. Um, and then Tina, well, uh, he was gifted really, wasn't he, <laughs> um, to Tina. Um, and she's done really well with him, she's run him in chests and trolls, he's got lots of awards. Um, so she's, this is a fully trained dog. So we brought him ha out to show you how we've moved on because I haven't got them at the moment. Hopefully one day they'll come back. Are you ready, Tina? So this is Tina Smith and Echo. So again, the dog has to hunt. And we're going to show you those people that say tennis balls and steady a dog. We're going to show you different. It's a great way <laughs> of telling he's got under the cover. It's what you want a spaniel to do. I didn't even take Gus down there. Come on. Again, his nose down, and there'll be very little whistle. It's right on it, it's right there. He's gone past it. Yeah, yeah, he did. The wind's in the wrong direction. So again, we're even playing with him with tennis balls. Now then. Hunt him on, Tina. I love that. Can you see it? Now obviously this dog has been out in the shooting field, he's flushed and retrieved loads of pheasants, so tennis balls him aren't really the be on and end all, whereas my young dogs, they are, but it's a start. So hunting the dog, so, he's hunting the dog now, people that say tennis balls make them unsteady, we're just going to show you it doesn't. So he's found two tennis balls, I'm going to pick that one up, you see that? Who says tennis balls make dogs unsteady? No. Did you see that she flew the stop whistle? And that's how we did that. We got the stop whistle with rewarding her with a tennis ball. She stopped him just there when he put his nose down under that clump of grass, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. That tennis ball. We'll put it back down. So it doesn't make them unsteady. It's reward-based training. And it works. Well, it definitely works for me and it works for Tina, so it's a game for her, a game for the dog. He sat there, if she commands him, he'll pick it, won't you, Tina? There you go, so tennis balls don't make dogs unsteady, if you do it properly right. Okay, aha, it was there, it's not there anymore, is it? Yes please, Justin. Oh, I need a drink, it's dry in here. I need one. You want one in that, in that cover. So, obviously we're going to move a little bit on with the training because we've only got a certain amount of time to show you. So, Echo is going to be, move on around about a year of his training, really. Um, and Tina, handsome lad, isn't he? Good boy. So, we're going to put a scene retrieve out for Echo. No, call him in. Sit him up. But what we're going to do is, there is a retrieve over that fence. But we're going to tease him, say tease him, we're going to give him a scene behind. 
Now that dog obviously would normally want to pick the one up he's seen. He doesn't know there's another one. But through training, we've trained him to take some eyes. Look at him, he's looking perfectly. Look at that, look at the concentration, look at the focus that dog's got with the handler. Right, when you're ready, Tina, she's going to set him up. He's not worried about that one. Go over. He nearly caught his bits then when he went over that jump, did he, poor lad? Oh! And back he comes. So, that's it. We don't mind. Now then, never be lazy when you're training your dog. Don't give the dog every retrieve. Pick some up yourself. In this case, Tina is lazy and I'm picking it up, but never mind. Um, yeah, yeah, whatever dog and bark yourself. I've heard that one before, once or twice. So, we've got him handling and trusting us at close quarters. Now, we go into train him at distance. So again, as they yeah, what put one in. Again, we're going to give him a hand signal that's quite easy for dog to take the left or right hand signal if it's seen a dummy. Now he's seen that one out. Tina's going to walk away. A bit further please. Come on. Don't be I said about being lazy, didn't I? Come on. Right. When you're ready then Tina. Didn't even flinch, didn't even... Having a bit of a hunt round. And back. Well done, Echo. Right. Stop showing off. Good boy. Ladies and gentlemen, Tina Smith and Echo, they've come down from Leicestershire. Give them a huge round of applause. Not that much. No one's given me a clap yet, have they? Goodness gracious. Right. Now then, as we said before, um, this part of the demonstration team, I would have my Labradors out. The two boys, Gambit and Brooke. Um, they're not available. So, we're going to bring out Ava. Ava is um, Gambit, no, Brooke's, no, Gambit's full sister. And we're just going to show you what we do with our retrievers. And again, you'll notice that we only, it's all on body language, very little commands. We just want the dog to get out there and do the job that it's bred to do. Ava. So, obviously we train the retrievers slightly differently and we want them to go long distance. Um, so I'd like to think that we can send these dogs from here into those woods for a retrieve that hasn't seen down, but you can't do that straight away. You have to build it up. Um, so it's about confidence in the dog, confidence in the dog, um, knowing what you require. It's showing the dog, it's not telling the dog, you can't tell the dog anything. So, we're going to put a retrieve in the cover. Stick it in, Justin, please. And we're going to start off with what we call a memory retrieve. So we want the dog to go that long distance that we require on a shooting day. Um, so it's all about confidence. It's about the dog understanding what you want. So we put a retrieve down for the dog. We're going to walk back and send her back. But it's a build-up. We're building up. It's confidence. You'll see as we go on that um, she'll go back for blinds um, and hold an area. Ava. So that's all I do. And I can sit here if I like, I don't mind. Just leave me to do it. Oh, she'll go. She'll hunt the area. She knows it's there. I don't have to handle her. I don't have to do that. She knows it's there. So it's confidence. Back she comes. And she's always as quick back as she is out, aren't you? Thank you. Right, okay. Justin, if you'd like to put another retriever in there, get down, you fool. You hate this, don't you? Every minute of it. So one in there, Justin. Thank you. So now she's gone back to the area. It's confidence. So we can now, we now start to use a bit of body language. 
and signs, back. So we're now telling her to go back this time. Look at my arm, look at my hand, look where I'm pointing, and she'll go back, over the jump. This is just about the right height, actually. And she's got back with it. Now then, that's easy, but what we need to do is send a dog long distances and hold them in an area. So, you want them in a hand, yeah, oh. Um, so we hold them in there. So I can send this dog 150, 200 yards, get her to the fall of a pheasant, and hold her in an area with just a short whistle command. No voice commands, no shouting, no, just straightforward one whistle command. So you can send her back, back. Not that way. Oi, you've been there twice, come here. There you are. See? Oi. My fault. Back. That's better. So she'll go out now. It's a confidence builder. She goes out to the area. Now we're going to introduce a hunt whistle. Okay. That means look there. Look there. Don't move away. Wait until you've found that little bit of scent that gives you the idea where that bird is. And I can just blow that whistle, she'll hold the area, she won't move off the area. She holds it and holds it and holds it. And then she gets that little bit of scent on a shoot day where that pheasants run or rabbit, whatever you're picking up, partridge, it's moved slightly, she has to take that little bit of scent. And I can hold her there, she'll stay there all day if I wanted to because she knows, she thinks that I know it's there. It's the confidence between me and the dog. And then again, as we said before, it's all reward based. She's hunting all the time. She's doing exactly what I ask her to do. Justin, when you're ready, he's going to put a retrieve in so she gets that reward. She's held the area, held it, held it, held it. And then she gets the reward and she's got it. There we go. So that dog is just going out to the area. It's holding an area. I've done nothing other than give it a few whistles. We've got a confident picking up dog on shoot days. Good girl. And that's three good runs for you in this hot weather. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Neil Varney. That was the first of the twist mount gun dog displays. Um, it went okay. We missed the boys. And we'll see you again tomorrow. How's the time going first? Five minutes. Okay. So, I, there's a bit of an issue. You don't start. Um, there's a bit of an issue. Tina said that she had a bigger round of applause than me. Did she? And I say I had a bigger round of applause than her. I come on, I did all the talking. Right, let's settle this once and for all. Get your dog out. Now then, we need a dummy thrower. Please, Andy. <laughs> Just take it over there, stand by that bush and clap your hat. Put the dummy in. I'm going to make it harder for myself. So, it's a bit of a showdown here already, the first day at Ragley Hall. And we've got a showdown already. So, what we're going to do, yeah, we'll turn Amy around in a moment. Oh, if she goes up, I've set it up. Ava, come here. Ava. Right. Wait. Wait, hey, come back. What we're going to do is there's going to be a retrieve in there over that jump. Andy, can you stand right in front of the brushings, please? Yeah. Okay, is the dummy in there? Okay, stand just behind it then. Wait, you, come back here, you get, there's a retrieve up there. Echo's gonna have a scene, I'm gonna have a blind. So I've gotta pick my retrieve, the first dog back gets the biggest round of applause, okay? Are you ready? You got a scene? Back, you sent him first! <laughs> It's not in that one, you fool! It's over the jump! Oh, no. <laughs> You're joking! Hey, how did you get up there?
come here, you. <laughs> it was just a bit of fun at the end. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the twist mount gun dog display for this morning. We'll be back again tomorrow. We're going to be in the main arena at some point. But for now, thank you very much. <laughs>